Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And today I'm showing you another vulnerability called SSRF or server side request forgery. What is server side re request forgery? It's basically that you are abusing a web application to make internal calls or calls to other resources. Okay, so for example, um, if I can find a URL input field on the target web application, effectively I can, I may be able to query localhost or I may be able to query internal machines, which I normally could not reach from the outside world for many reasons, because they may have private IP addresses, there may be access control restrictions or stricter access control restrictions from the outside than from the inside and things like that. But let's get right started. Let's let me show you a practical example. So if I load the menu here on our restaurant website and review this in Burp, you will see that there is a an API call being made. As you probably recall from one of the previous videos, um, we found numerous vulnerabilities on that one already. And I'm going to send this over to repeater, right? So what happens if I'm just deleting the value here? out of the F parameter. Let's do that. Let's hit send and then we get an internal server error. However, there is an information disclosure vulnerability right there and then. So that's another bug on its own. That's not the SSRF bug yet, but for example, it's revealing an internal path to me here, internal API, fetch PHP URL. So this is this URL input parameter I was referring to earlier. And it also has like an author authorization bearer. Right, so the author authorization bearer um, token, which probably is needed in order to query an internal URL. So what I'm going to do now is I can construct my URL based on these um, values here. So I know that the path is internal API fetch.php and then the parameter URL. Okay, so I'm changing this to fast food hackings and then here internal API fetch PHP and the URL. And as the URL value I put in the 127001 IP address, which is the local loopback, which is the local machine effectively. So what I'm going to do with this request is I'm instructing the web application fast food hackings to make a call to itself, right? To 127001. And if that works, I have an SSRF, a server-side request forgery. And it does, because I get the response FFH main server, you are accessing internal services. If you can see this, well done. Yes, so this is the proof of concept that my SSRF worked well, because I could not query that machine normally. If I put this into the browser normally on my machine, it will query my own machine, right? But not the server itself. And there is numerous, it's a very dangerous vulnerability. There's, there's numerous ways where sometimes you can then start querying internal IP addresses like 192.168.1.x or something. And you may be able to get to machines which you would normally not be able to get to because you're abusing the functionality of the web application to make internal calls. I hope this makes sense. And I see you in one of the next videos.